U bioskopu Paris Fox Studio projekcijom filma Rat uživo u četvrtak je svečno otvoren drugi po redu festival srpskog filma. Prednu smotru filmskog stvaralaštva na tlu Jugoslavije i Srbije proglasio je otvorenom generalni konzul Savjedne Republike Jugoslavije u Sidneju, Slobodan Dajić. Hvala, dobro dobro. My name is Francine Lynch and I'm an actress and on a good day an aspiring filmmaker myself. Um, I have a great love of the process of film and also the process by which we create and put our visions and stories up on screen, which is why I was very honoured when I was asked to MC this film festival this evening. And so it's my great pleasure to welcome everyone here this evening for the second Serbian Film Festival here at Cinema Paris, Fox Studios. It is with appropriate resonance, I believe, that around 93 years ago, in 1909, the first permanent cinema was opened in Belgrade, in a hotel ironically called Hotel Paris. And Serbia, it is clear, has never looked back. What is most exciting about film festivals like this one, being put on in cities around Australia, is its ability to make us aware of the depth and value of the contribution that nations like Serbia in faraway Europe are continuing to make to the international film industry. In fact, Serbia, as a filmmaking nation, is up there with the finest Europe has to offer. And I think the films here this evening and then in the next few days will be a testament to just how dedicated and passionate the Serbian film industry is to their craft. Even in the recent times of conflict and the consequent difficulties, which definitely impact on such a complex activity as film production, progress in Serbian film was never halted. Great films are continue to be produced, and a new generation of filmmakers are now making their mark, demonstrating the great vigor and vitality of culture and cinematic art in Serbia, as we are about to see. In Serbia, and on the international arena, new films are arousing considerable public interest, interest as an alternative, alternative voice in society. And I know that this festival will be an aid to furthering our own and the world's enthusiasm for them. And now, without further delay, I would like to introduce our first guest this evening from Macquarie University, Department of Serbian Studies, Mr. Zoran Nikolic. Mrs. Bajic, Yugoslav Consul General, Mr. Mr. Slobodan Bajic, Mr. Jim Fraser, Mr. Sertan Golubovic, their guest, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Serbian Studies Foundation, it is an honor for me to be present tonight at the opening ceremony of the Serbian Film Festival, an event that has been highlighted as the most exciting venue for the Serbian community for the second year. This festival is not as large as some other film festivals. However, it is a big in spirit, and this is a fantastic cultural event for our community in Australia. Film is widely used means of expressing Serbian people and culture. Although the Serbian Film Festival mission in Sydney is threefold, to promote some of the best in Serbian cinema, to promote the work of famous Serbian filmmakers, and films about the, these themes, the 2000 Serbian Film Festival is already a success. The, mo the movie is a gateway to countries and cultures, to the lives of those living far away. The film creates an urge to learn more, to discover what was hidden on the other side of the ocean. Serbia is more than ocean away from Australia, but the purpose of GLOBE a cultural bridge from Serbia to Australia. The goal of cultural bridge is one shared by many like-minded people all over the world. I wish to thank all those, both in Australia and Serbia, who have pulled their talents and worked so hard to bring about today's event and to Fox Studio, who give us opportunity with such beautiful cinema. And now it's with great pleasure that I would like to invite the festival director to the microphone, a personal friend who has continued to inspire me with his hard work, vision and passion which has culminated in the remarkable achievement of having this festival become a reality, Vic Jensen. Our distinguished guests, 
uh, I guess, wizards. Um, I'm just a little bit nervous, as you can tell, <laughs> but I'm a little bit scared of you guys. Um, honestly, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this evening. Um, see my team here from last year, thank you for turning up. Um, as mentioned earlier, we are a small festival, but we are very unique. Uh, this evening we have our guests from Belgrade, Mr. Sajal Golovic, and we also have Mr. Jim Frazier from Australia. Um, what makes it unique is that next Wednesday night, the two of them will actually be having a lecture in the film industry. Um, and this side, I believe, it hasn't been done before, from what I know, where we're bringing two cultures together, um, and I guess two generations in the international language of film. Um, furthermore, I'd also like to thank my sponsors, especially Bear Export, um, Tony Kosic from Australian Property Management, and also Stanley Gar. They've been very supportive um, in all aspects. Um, also, the people we have here tonight, the Macquarie University, Vesti, Consulate General, obviously, for the support they're giving me. Um, doing something like this is, has taken a long time to put together, and as, as my is, <laughs> it looks like, um, it, it's a lot of hard work and stuff like that to do. Um, but also, I'd like to round of applause for our friends here uh, with the traditional serving uniform here. Thank you. Well, lost the words. That's a first, isn't it? <laughs> um, um, Gospodin Ilici from the Serbian Australian Association, thank you. Thank you for turning up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It means a lot to me now. Pretty much turning up here this evening. Uh, to my mother. Hi, Mum. Thank you for everything. <laughs> you got to thank your mum. Um, Uh, well, what further out to do? Uh, oh, and uh, this evening we actually didn't plan this, but um, Mr. Korsic has a restaurant called Rumours, which is on the corner of um, Parramatta Road and Glee Point Road. And we actually have uh, Stoy. Now, for those of you who don't know Stoy, Stoy is actually a trumpet player, and it's a group of about seven people. Um, this evening they gave me a bit of a surprise to so say, everyone's welcome to come for dinner, and we have an authentic gypsy trumpet band <laughs> um, at, at, the, at the restaurant later on. So please, everyone, um, you're more than welcome to join us. So please enjoy the festival. Um, Fiona, this Fiona, Fiona, thank you very, very much. I've been giving Fiona a, a somewhat of a hard time and surprising her every now and then with um, some weird modified ideas. So Fiona and staff, thank you very much um, for your support and your help. It is much, much appreciated. Uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Francine back on stage. Um, and now I'd like to introduce Mr. Jim Frazier, one of the world's leading cinematographers and the inventor of the Frazier Lens. Jim. They say the human brain is a wonderful thing. It never stops functioning from the moment you're born till the moment you get up to make a speech. <laughs> Something nearly as bad is that Zorin pretty well stole all the things that I was going to say. So I'm not going to repeat them. But what I do think is that uh, this lovely cross-culture is so fantastic. I, I see a Serve Australia approach uh, where the two cultures can really come together, especially if we're being served by the Serbs. <laughs> uh, I think it is an integration of two different societies and uh, the one thing that everyone should agree on that both film and music crosses all barriers both international and religious and uh, I think it's very healthy to have all these lovely cultures in Australia that are all doing their thing and especially when we get the interchange from overseas. I'm very much looking forward to seeing some of the films in the festival. Now as you're probably aware my expertise is in the wildlife arena and the lens that uh, was referred to earlier that I invented came about because of filming wildlife. Uh, speed is one of the things that I really need to concentrate on and I felt that the lenses of the day didn't offer me what I wanted and so I literally set about to achieve something with lenses that would solve a, a lot of problems. And I initially uh, approached some of our leading physicists and they said, what you're trying to do is impossible. What I ended up with was uh, just a, 
extraordinary depth of field. And uh, they said it couldn't be done. Now, here's a guy like Vlad, who's also a guy, and the reason I decided to do this tonight is that uh, uh, he is a man who the impossible just isn't a word in his vocabulary. And he pulled this off tonight, and I so admire him, and that's why I decided to also lend a hand. And so, he actually hassled me, so I've come up with a new name, and from, from forever on, you should call him a hassle lad. <laughs> He's uh, truly an astonishing man, and uh, I would go to the ends of the earth for him. Uh, he, he has impressed me for a long time, and... Uh, it's no mean feat to organise a festival like this. And it may be only small, but I actually see it being very, very, very large down the track. And we, we have Vlad to thank for that. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I would like to say thank you and I feel very honoured to be part of this uh, second Serbian festival. Thank you. And now we have our um, guest of honour, one of Europe's leading up-and-coming directors, visiting from Belgrade, especially um, to be here for the festival, Mr. Serdan Golobovic. Thank you. Dobrač. It means good evening. Uh, I am very happy because we have a chance to introduce you uh, the best Serbian movies uh, from last two years and uh, two Serbian uh, movie classics. In past time, uh, the only uh, information you had about Serbia uh, was uh, war, uh, poorness, uh, hate uh, and something like that. Um, I'm happy and I, I, I want uh, to, uh, to show you some other pictures of Serbia some other picture of uh, our life, our mind, our soul. In this moment, this festival is one of the biggest uh, manifest manifestations of Serbia, Serbian culture abroad. Um, I'm sure that uh, you will enjoy and uh, with us. And now, to open the festival, I'd like you to join me in welcoming the Consular General of the Federal Republic of Serbia, Mr. Slobodan Fajic. Uh, well, good evening. Uh, only Consul General of Yugoslavia. Uh, well, maybe in a very... Uh, Next future, uh, we shall be uh, probably our name will be Serbian Montenegro, but we are still uh, Yugoslavia. So, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, special guests and sponsors, it's my great honor to be present at the opening night of the second annual Serbian Film Festival in Australia, and the pleasure to welcome all of you at this important cultural event. Especially, I would like to welcome a dear guest from Belgrade to Australia, the director of the film Absolute 100, Mr. Serdan Golubov. <laughs> the first Serbian film festival held last year had not only achieved a great success, but had also announced the beginning of the new tradition of the Serbian film festival in Australia. Tonight, here, our hopes are being fulfilled. Our special thanks for that go to both the last, the last year's festival organizers who started the event and to Lado V. Jensen who deserves merits that the Serbian Film Festival is becoming a tradition. I would also like to express our special thanks to the Cinema Paris and Hoyt Cinemas for hosting for our country and community in Australia 
such an important cultural event, as well as to the Institute of Film in Belgrade that selected and provided the films. And of course, special thanks deserve many sponsors who made this event possible. I would like to draw your attention to a certain coincidence be between the festival and the process of democratic, democratic changes that have taken place in Serbia and Yugoslavia, which suggests that events like these could have been possible only when both sides, the Serbian community in Australia and the mother country, were ready to work together. I hope, I hope that the films to be shown will reflect the life in Serbia and Yugoslavia and will bring Serbian community in Australia closer to its homeland. However, I hope that the festival will become part of the cultural life of every Australian, not only of those of Serbian origin. Uh, among the films selected for screening at this year's Serbian Film Festival, I would strongly recommend the movie Who is Singing Over There? The absolutely hilarious and old cult movie that was recently awarded as the best Yugoslav movie film for the last 50 years. I recommend it because it best depicts the core of Serbian soul, especially the typical feature of the Serbian mentality that has no equivalent word in English. The word for this in Serbian is inat, which is a mixture of stubbornness, irrationality, and unresponsible behavior. The film that you will be viewing tonight, War Life, documented the events, circumstances, and the human tragedy that occurred in the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia during the three months of the NATO bombing three years ago. As someone who had experienced this war live in Belgrade, I would like to say that despite the fact that this film reminds of the horrible tragedy of war and the times when our country had the world against it, I hope it will also remind all of us to wish and pray for it to never happen again, because these times may uh, these times may be forgiven, but should not be forgotten. Uh, thank you, thank you all for coming. I wish you enjoyable viewing, and to the festival successful run in Australia. In the name of the organizer. I have to proclaim, I have the honor to proclaim the second annual Serbian Film Festival in Sydney Open. Povodom drugog srpskog filmskog festivala, ovog vrednog kulturnog događaja, generalni konzul Savezne Republike Jugoslavije, Slobodan Bajić, priredio je prijem u petak uveče. Ovdje vidim naravno i ljude koji su došli u poslednjih desetak godina i što bi englezi rekli last but not the least, jako mi je drago da pozdravim naše sveštenike koji su ovdje prisutni sa svojim suprugama. To je također znak i bolje saradnje države i crkve ili crkve i države. To je nešto, evo ja mogu da kažem kao neko koji je 30 godina u ovom poslu, ali sam se prvi put sada u konzulatu. Moja karijera je bila po ambasadama, politički poslovi, štampa, kultura i tako dalje. Prvi put sam u konzulatu i jako mi je drago da sam u konzulatu u novo vreme, znači u vreme kada su se otvorili ovi mostovi između dijaspore i države. Videli ste, svi vi pratite, pratimo i mi, jer nam je to posao, kako će izgledati, hoćete li moći ili nećete moći da 
birate, znači da imate ono osnovno pravo da birate i da budete birani, izborno pravo. Nadam se da će se to usvojiti, ali to najmanje zavisi od zavisi naravno i od vas, od vašeg glasa koji ste vidli, ali mislim da kakva god odluka da bude u zemlji, to ne bi trebalo da poremeti naše odnose ovde. Znači, evo to, to sam hteo da kažem. Još jednom, znači, neko ko je došao i ko je još u Beogradu razumeo, a ovde to video, hteo bi da istaknem tu veliku ulogu koju je Srpska pravoslavna crkva imala i ima i danas na očuvanju jezika, tradicije, kulture srpskog naroda. Mislim da, ajde da ne kažem da ne bi toga svega bilo, ali da bi toga bilo u daleko manjoj meri, znači narodnih igara, klubova, okupljanja i svega toga, i očuvanja, očuvanja nacionalnog identiteta, srpskog korpusa u inostranstvu, naravno i ovde u Australiji, da nije bilo aktivnosti srpske pravoslavne crkve. Naravno, ja mislim da konzulat isto će se truditi da sa svoje strane učini sve što je moguće da olakša bilo kakav posao koji imate. Konzulat je mala opština, na tome Ja se nadam da će vas uvek ovde dočekati neko nasmejano vice i da će moći da se izađe u susret vašim željama ili to što tražite. Hvala vam lepo još jedan puta i što ste došli, molim vas, osjećajte se kao kod svoje kuće.